Hey, what's going on guys? It's Thru Dolphin here back again with another video. And if you have not seen by the title already, in today's video we're going to be going over the leaked week 9 challenges and a guide on how you can complete them a lot easier, quicker, and more efficiently. And also guys, make sure to leave your Epic Games username down below in the comments and I will add you and help you out with these challenges. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on, that way you're notified every time I upload. And that way you're staying up to date with all the Fortnite information and leaks. Also guys, make sure you watch till the end of the video so you know how to complete all of these challenges. Guys, without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Alrighty guys, so the very first challenge that you have to complete in week 9 is going to be search chests at Holly Hedges. And to complete this challenge, you all have to search a total of 7 chests. Alrighty guys, so if you would like to complete this challenge a lot easier, quicker, and more efficiently, what I would recommend for challenges like these is using the game mode Team Rumble. And if you all are asking or wondering why to use that game mode, it's because that's the only game mode that has a 100% chest spawn rate. All of the other game modes like solos, duos, squads, or arena matches, all of those different game modes only have a 75% chest spawn rate. And if you do not know what that means is basically in those game modes you are not always guaranteed a chest spawn at the location where it usually spawns at. So that basically means you're not always guaranteed a chest. So that means it's going to be harder to get this challenge completed. But if you were to complete this challenge in Team Rumble, it would be a lot easier and more efficient. And that's because the chest spawn rate in Team Rumble, like I said, is at 100% compared to 75. That means that every chest spawn location will have a chest in it and at the location. So in a second for you all, I'm going to throw up an image of every single chest spawn location at Holly Hedges for you all. That way you know where all the chests are before hopping into a match and so you know where you are going once you get into a game. So I would recommend using this map to help you find some chests. Alrighty guys, the second challenge of week 9 is going to be eliminations at Slurpee Swamps. And guys, for challenges like these, I would always uh, stray away from Team Rumble. And that's mainly because there's only a total of 40 players allowed in a Team Rumble match. That alone makes it a lot less likely that people are going to be landing at Slurpee Swamps. So if you try to complete this challenge in Team Rumble, uh, you will be able to, but just so you all know, it's going to take a while longer than if you do it in a normal match. And that is because the player amount in a lobby, if you all do not know, is 100. So that basically increases your chances a lot more of getting kills at Slurpee Swamps. So overall, that will result in you completing this challenge in fewer matches. And most of the time for these challenges, it only takes me about a match or two to get them completed. But like I said, for this challenge, you can complete it either way. But I'm just letting you know the most efficient way and quickest way to complete them. Alrighty guys, so the third challenge of week 9 is going to be collect floating rings at Steamy Stacks. And to complete this challenge, you only have to find a total of one ring. Personally, I'm not sure where the rings are going to be at because currently they are not in the game files. The only thing that is that is referenced to this is the challenge itself. But they should not be too hard to find because when these rings were in other POI or name locations, they were quite obvious and they were not hidden away or anything like that. So guys, you could complete this challenge in Team Rumble if you would like. Personally, that's what I'm most likely going to do and that's because there's going to be less players that are going to drop at Steamy Stacks most likely. And if anyone does drop there, it'll be easier to kill them because the players are less experienced that are in Team Rumble. So yeah, I would suggest using Team Rumble for that if you would like to complete it quicker and easier. Alrighty guys, so for the fourth challenge of week 9, we have use Silver Surfer's board in a single match. Now if you all did not know, Silver Surfer's board is basically a power up that you can get in a game or in a match. I'm pretty sure, I'm not certain though, but you can either get these coins at the Harriers that drop down on the Fortnite map or Stark Industries, but I'm pretty sure it's the first one which is the Quinn Jets. 
And basically guys, all you have to do to complete this challenge is use his surfboard skill once. And basically, if you all did not know what that skill does, is basically it launches you up in the air and it also allows you to deploy your glider. So honestly, it's such a great skill. So if you find it in a match, make sure to use it because it's a really useful and helpful skill. And also guys, I'm pretty sure you cannot complete this challenge in Team Rumble because at the moment, I'm pretty sure all bots are disabled in Team Rumble. And that also means that Stark's robots will be disabled. So if that's true, then there's no way that you will be able to get Silver Surfer's skill ability because of that. So do not try and complete this challenge in Team Rumble. Alrighty guys, so the fifth challenge we have for you all is land at Sharky Shell and finish top 25. Alright guys, so basically if you all did not know, Sharky Shell is at the top left of the map. And basically to complete this challenge, all you have to do is play one game land at Sharky Shell and finish top 25 and you will get the challenge completed and over with. I'm pretty sure that you all can use Team Rumble for this challenge but then again I might be mistaken but if you were to use Team Rumble you would automatically get this challenge completed if you landed at Sharky Shell and that's because the game sees Team Rumble as only two teams, uh, Team 1 and Team 2. So even if you lose in Team Rumble, you're going to come in second place. So basically that means that you will still get the challenge completed and that's because you're in second place. So yeah, you can most likely do it there. And if that doesn't work, you can just do it in a normal game and get this challenge completed. Alrighty guys, so if you all did not know, the 7th and 8th challenges are placeholders. Now, if you all do not know what placeholder is or what it means, and most of you don't, which is fine, it's basically a placeholder where the challenge is going to go. Overall, it just means that we are unsure of what the two challenges are going to be at this exact moment. But based on previous weeks, we should know what these challenges are going to be like. So my prediction on the seventh challenge is that it's going to be something that has to do with visiting locations. And I'm speculating this because in our previous challenges, we have had challenges similar to this or challenges that we've had to go to certain areas and name locations to complete them. So that's most likely a general idea of what the seventh challenge, which is the placeholder, is going to look like. So yeah, guys. And me personally, what I think the eighth challenge is going to be is deal damage with a certain item or weapon once again i'm thinking this because of previous weekly challenges so yeah that's what i think those two challenges will be and the very last challenge of week nine is deal damage to opponents at sweaty sands and to complete this challenge you have to deal a total of 500 damage to opponents while there uh, you can get this challenge completed either in team rumble or a normal match just so you all know though, Team Rumble will most likely take longer compared to a normal match. So me personally, I'm going to get done in a normal match or let it build up over time. But the preference is all yours, whichever way you would like to get it done. Alrighty guys, that was the very last challenge for this video. If you all enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.